Whoopi Goldberg. Lovely sound, isn't it? Oh my god, they're great. You had a treat this week. Normally it's four blokes singing a tune that we can barely recognise. Uh, <laughs> but we wouldn't change them. No, good. I uh, like them. Hey, lovely to have you here. Thank you. Let me say why I'm especially excited to have Whoopi here, and I don't hope you don't mind me saying this, is that I know you are not someone who likes to travel. You don't like to travel by air. No, I don't. So for you to come to the United Kingdom is quite a big deal. Well, it's huge, huge. Yeah, now how did you get over? Did you take a boat or did, or did you no, conquer your fear? No, if I had had a, a little more time, I would have taken a QE. But um, the folks at Virgin Air uh, have this service, which they do with people, a 10-hour course, and it actually was pretty good. So this is to help you overcome your fear of flying? Yeah, because okay. mine was really bad. So can I, without wanting to make you feel bad and, and scare you about going home, what is the fear? Is the fear just that you, you, you feel out of control because you're not in charge, or is it no. just the fear of it crashing? No, I saw, an, I saw two planes meet over a neighbourhood I lived in in San Diego no. a long time ago. And the greatest thing that this wonderful pilot gave me was this piece of information, very small piece of information, is that they have evolved so much since 1978 mm. that it's no longer possible for that to happen ever again. And that news was like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. I was like, for real? <laughs> He's like, yeah. And I thought, so if it can't happen again, that means it can't happen to me. So let me see if I can do this, if yeah. anything else comes up. And so I, here I am. I'm, I'm in London. Well, we're delighted you're here. But what a fact, it must be a great feeling to have overcome that. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how great it is. Uh, let me ask you about your career. Before you became uh, a, a noted performer, before you had success as an actress, presumably you had uh, any number of jobs. And yeah. One of which I've heard of, and I don't know if this is true, you worked in a mortician's for a while? Yes. So what did you do in the... I the recreated uh, where there was damage. So we used wax to recreate faces and then do the makeup. That's quite, that would be quite an intense experience. I yes, think. yes it was. H how did you find yourself in that line of work? I got a job offer. You know, someone said, do you, do you have any time to come do? Yes, I said, I do. Because I, I had a little kid, so I had to get, take so a job. So you had to find work, but did you have any, well, I'm, I'm presuming you didn't have any experience in that as such, but I mean, did they, you have talent in that? Or that's something they look for? I was a good hair cutter, and I could do makeup. So if anybody's dead in the audience, I'm your girl. <laughs> I imagine the uh, the first couple of times you Why do it. Why are you whispering? Because I'm respect for the dead, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Did it freak you out ever? Because it uh, it would freak only me out. Only once, only once. The first uh, night that I had the job, I got a call from uh, the office downstairs to come and see my boss. So I get down there and. I don't know, you probably don't know this, but in the old days, they had these giant drawers in which they would put the bodies. And they, they look like giant refrigerator doors that you have now. And I'm sitting in the chair, just as I'm doing now, and that was my boss's desk. And out of the back of my mind, I hear... And my brain says, Say, left brain, do you hear that? <laughs> Left brain said, I don't hear nothing. <laughs> My eye said, well, let me take a look. <laughs> so it slid over to the side. And as I'm looking, I realize, because the brain has told me, that the drawer is moving. Oh. Now, my brain got together <laughs> with the rest of my body <laughs> and said, is anyone willing to bet that drawer is moving? No came the response. My knees went like this. My brain then said, is anyone willing to stay and see <laughs> if the drawer is moving? My body said no. <laughs> so I stood up. And as I turned to look, because always in a horror movie, you got to look. Yeah. I see my boss go, hello there, from inside. <laughs> I ran. 
<laughs> into a wall. Literally ran oh. into a wall and knocked myself out. And he said to me, that is the absolute worst thing that will happen in this job. <laughs> Nothing else worse than that is going to happen. So he did that. It was a kind of it was yes, it was an, an initiation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet you didn't thank you for it. Did you get revenge on it, or you just carried on? No, no. Uh, I was like, okay. Well, and, uh, don't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was the big break for you then? I know you you had a one woman show. Yes. Which was discovered on Broadway, but I guess in movies terms, it would be Spielberg casting yeah, you in color, the color Purple. Purple. Yeah. And how did that come about? Um, Alice Walker, who wrote the film, uh, I wrote to her after reading her book while I was with my daughter driving. And uh, I said, listen, this is an amazing book. I've just read it to my kid. If they ever make a movie of it, here's all my information. Thinking, you know, you, I don't know if you did, but I wrote a million of those yeah. to people. So I, I get an invitation to go to New York to perform my one woman show. and. At my mom's house is a purple envelope waiting for me. And on the envelope, it said, Alice Walker. Oh. And she said, I already know about you. I've seen your shows. I live up in the Bay where you are. And she said she'd already sent it up. So I said, oh, great. Never thinking it was going to happen. And then Stephen asked me to come and perform. And I performed. And then he said, I want you to take this movie. And I said, I, I, no. No, I don't want this movie. <laughs> I've never been in a movie before. I, I didn't want to suck. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you know, you don't want to suck for Steven Spielberg. Yeah. And not if it's a movie based on a book you love, of course. It's yeah, not. but you know, actors are weird. You know, we, we don't want to be bad. Sometimes we just can't help it. <laughs> you know, but you don't want to be bad. So, it all worked out so far. For the best. What a great, but what a great movie to be part of as well. What yeah, a great cast to, to, to meet there. Uh, but we mentioned earlier on, we, we showed a clip from Ghost. Yes. I love Ghost. It's a great movie. And you won the Oscar for that. I did. Wow, what an, I mean, that must... And it's unusual as well, because normally movies which are kind of like... Uh, it's not a genre movie, but movies which are comedies right. or board of that, they don't tend to win the awards. They're not, not the ones. Not often. Yeah. Not often. It was quite good, though. Yeah, well... Con well no, I'd always film. wanted it. I'd I'm not saying I'm surprised. It. I'm just saying... No, no, no. I'm, I mean, it was quite good to, to win. Yeah. I, yeah. I wanted one. Yeah. And so I got one. And what, where do you keep it? What happens to it? Do you pass it's it It's in the living room, where the cat can play with it. Yeah. It must have been fun working on that movie. You've got Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze, yeah. who's been on the show. What a lovely guy. Yeah. And I know he's not well at the moment. You're, you're in touch with him, I yeah, think, are you? Yeah, yeah. How he's, is he? Do you know what he's... You know what? He's got a, a new show on, on television, and he's working his butt off. He's doing all kinds of exercises because he wants to do the second season. And so for Patrick, like for all of us, he doesn't have a, an expiration date. Mm. And when it comes, it comes. No one knows how long they've Nobody got. knows. Yeah, but he's so. what, a, what a sweet guy. What a, what a spirit doll, he has. Yeah. Yeah, how was it with Demi? It was, was it fun working with Demi? She was so? fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll move I like on. her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, it crossed my heart. <laughs> <laughs> The last look was just for those who didn't get it up to that point. Um, OK, uh, let me ask you about the musical, because uh, one of the reasons why we have our fabulous choir here this evening, yes. of course, is because you had a big hit uh, yes. in Sister Act. What a great, fun film that is. Yeah, it was. And, man, working with Maggie Smith must have been a treat. Baby, I could not understand why the great Maggie Smith would deem to come to the States and work in a comedy with me. And I would say to her, why? I said, why would you come? Look at who you, you Maggie Smith, for God's sakes. <laughs> and she said, because I want to have some fun, Hoopy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell just came out of your mouth, Barbara? <laughs> Several people. <laughs> yeah, so you, you've got a split personality yes, going I on. Yes, I do. Uh, we have a clip on the show, a clip of you with Maggie Smith. Ah, I, yes. And I watched this movie recently with my little girl, and she loved it. Oh, you know? good. And that's, that's what I like about having kids myself, is the movies I enjoyed years ago, you suddenly think, oh, you know what, they'll love this one. Yeah. And they watched Ghost as well recently. Man, they loved that oh, film as well. Thanks. This is uh, This is Whoopi with Maggie Smith in Sister Act. <laughs> it must have been a lovely story. Uh, it was... Just, just being able to, to be around Maggie Smith was, a, was beyond a treat. She's a good, to me, she is one of the premier actors of the world, so it was heaven. Uh, you made two Sister Act movies, of yes. course, and now there's a musical, and you're involved in the musical. You're not on stage in the musical. I am not on stage in the musical. Uh, I, I, this is how I'll explain it. They're doing Sister Act, 
as a musical piece for, th for the theater. We are not using any of the music from the movie. We cannot, we, we, they would not give us the access because to Because they're it. those songs, of course, which are... Yes, you know. and they're being used in, an, in another production of something else. Oh, I see. Okay, so none of the music. Uh, it's not me, of course, because I'm 108 and the girl has to be at least 22. So we have a gorgeous <laughs> girl uh, called Patina. She's fabulous. And it's a lot of singing and dancing, and it's not the story that you know. It's an expanded version because you could never remake that movie. You can't remake that movie, you can't remake that show, you can only do it differently. And so that's what we're doing. So I'm part of the production team, and I'm here to tell you that when Sister Act comes, I want y'all to go see it, because it's fun, your families will love it, and the girl who's, her voice, Patina's yeah. voice, also, you know I couldn't sing, I don't sing. So you didn't sing at all in the movie? No, no, I sang in the movie, you couldn't tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not a singer. The folks on stage sing. Yeah, and beautiful. they're magnificent. Uh, do you like it in England here? I mean, I know you don't get over much. I do. I do. I love it here. Because it's just, it's a great place to come. It's a great place for education, to learn things. You know, the idea that you can walk along a path that the Romans trod knocks me out. You know, the only Romans we get are in Vegas. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, Caesar's Palace. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Hey, but what a great time to be over here because we've got Barack over here. And yes. Barack and Michelle, who are making a big splash. Yes. Um, and you've met Mr. Obama, I believe. I have or met President Mr. Obama. President Obama, Obama yeah. yes. Yeah, when did you meet him? He came on to The View. Well, that's which that is that TV show that I do with uh, five women. Yeah, well, we have a show over here called Loose Women. Right. Which is, which is sort of like that, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's like, imagine your show, but uh, instead of champagne, it's sort of Lambrini. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. He does seem like he's pretty good news, though, doesn't he? I mean... Well, you know what? It's one step at a time. He's 70-some days into his presidency, and, you know, we are in a... <laughs> we are in a... Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we are in it. And, you know, we're in... If it was just us, it would be easier, I guess, for everybody to sort of handle. But it really is a worldwide issue. And, you know, people don't want to make big changes. They don't want to spend lots of money. They don't think it's a good idea. But not every place can be dealt with the same way. So each place has to be dealt with specifically. So, you know, in the States right now, we we've have huge troubles, but financial... Uh, incentives and intelligence is what we need to be dealing with. You know, here, maybe you're dealing with a different kind of issue. You know, maybe the Greeks are d dealing with something else. So I, I hope that when they all sit down, they say, well, here's what's going on where I am. Because now you can at least have the conversation. Yeah. Have you ever thought. considered politics yourself, though? Because obviously you're engaged I with did. it. And you're just... I did consider it. But with all the stuff in my closet, yeah, well, you had a few years, of course, of... Oh, uh, yeah. Please, oh, yeah, but, I mean, you're kind of... <laughs> but you're out about that, you're open about that, people know about that, so. Well, yeah, but some stuff they don't know about. Ah, I see. So yeah, some, you know, but Some juicy you, stuff still to come. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but you don't want... You know, nowadays, if I could be a human being, instead of having to be the, the elected office, I might consider it, but you're not allowed to be a human being when you take office like that, whether you're the prime minister or the president. You have to walk a path that's damn near impossible for anybody to mm. walk. And as soon as you go like, ugh, they go, see? I knew you couldn't do it. You know, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's too tough, really. It is a little tough, but I, I, I'm a big believer in the power of people. And so I think if two people engage in a conversation, something will change. They'll either get together, or they end up far apart. You've, uh, you've had, uh, I don't know who you're with at the moment. I guess, do you have someone in your life at the moment? You mean, do I have a boyfriend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I see that ring. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> have you ever had a sister? Yeah. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, baby. <laughs> well, let me pull my shirt closed. <laughs> Uh, but you, you've been married a few times. How many times have you been married? Come Three, on. I think. Three I like the party. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nice day out. Yeah, because everybody's very, very happy when they're getting married. Everybody is cheerful, they wish you luck, and everybody's really supportive. My issue comes the next morning. <laughs> when you go, 
wow, forever, really forever? <laughs> and I just can't commit. I'm yeah, terrible. Yeah. So terrible. you can commit forever on the day, but then when it becomes the day, the forever, yes. forever. Oh, I can say anything on the day. Ah, you know what? Yeah, as long as you mean it at the time, that's yeah, all that counts, that's isn't it? Yeah, that's what I said. Would you like to eat a bit of me before you go? Because we have this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant. They know I didn't mean You know I didn't you do it. Yeah, I'll take a piece of your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Any preferences? Uh, bottom left corner chin. Okay. <laughs> your left or his left? His left. Okay. Please. Oh, he's melting. There you go. Thank you. How old is he? We've had him since last Easter. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't get a big laugh first time out, so we saved him. What's it? What's it? How am mm. I doing? Very nice bouquet. <laughs> I can feel that coconut and wax just going up my nose. <laughs> Don't keep it for nice. too long, it gets a bit gamey after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? This is really good. <laughs> uh, hey, how lovely to have you here. I'm looking at it. So, presumably, you'll be going to see Sister It's at the London Palladium. Right. I think it opens May the 7th. Are you going to stick around to see it? You no, no, I have to go back to the <laughs> States. But now that I actually can fly, you can it's come back. quite. Possible that I'll get back on a plane. Well, that's well, it's it's an exciting thing. So maybe see you. You know, I'd love to see you live on stage. You ever do your show again? You ever do your one? -one I do. Thing? Actually, the folks keep saying, "Will you come here yeah. to London and do it?" I say, "Ah," uh -huh. but actually, now I may. That would be fantastic. All right. Well, I'll call Ladies and gentlemen, let's hope she does. So will you join me in saying thank you to a fabulous guest, Whoopi Goldberg? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.